Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotox here. So in front of us today, we do have the Armorgo Power Bank by Banks, and this is a 10,000 milliamp hour MagSafe compatible power bank, which is super nice that we do have that 10,000 milliamp hours. So Banks did go ahead and provide me with a 15% discount code, which is gonna be code TECHNO15. And again, if you do use that, you will get 15% off. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Right away on the packaging, we do have a clear image of what the power bank looks like, which is really nice. We do get some information, strong and durable, light, smooth, textured, low temperature charging, which is everything that we're gonna need to check out. So opening this up, really easy. Inside, we are immediately revealed with our power bank. So taking this out, we also do get some information right there. And we also do get a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. I wish this was a USB-C to C, but again, this is what they provided. And then moving that to the side, here is a look at the power bank. So once again, 10,000 milliamp hours, this is actually very thin and actually light for 10,000 milliamp hours, which is something I immediately noticed we do have this nice Kevlar design on it, which looks really cool. But again, before we continue with this one, I do want to compare it to a previous bank's power bank. This does look very similar to Apple's original MagSafe power bank. But again, this does only have 5,000 milliamp hours. And if we do go to compare the sizes, thickness wise, they are basically the same thickness as you can see right here. And if we do take a look from the side, they are very similar in thickness. However, the 10,000 milliamp hour one is just a tad bit taller and just a tad bit wider. Maybe not even wider, just a tad bit taller. So again, having 10,000 milliamp hours and basically the same size as the 5,000 milliamp hours is definitely a great thing. And then the design also does look unique and it does look like something someone else would make. This looks very similar to Apple's, so it's not very unique. Plopping that to the side, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. We do have banks right there. And then on the back, we do have the MagSafe rings or the location of where it is. It does give some information. We don't really need that. And then on the bright side, we do have the button and we do have an indicator on the top of the power bank. So you don't have to look around it. Like this one, for example, the previous generation, there was a button on the bottom and you had the indicator on the bottom of it. I'm not really sure if you can see that, but again, with this one, we do have the indicator up top on its back. So you don't have to look under it to actually see. Again, we do have a USB-C charging port right there. It does have a nice little blue tint to it, which looks really cool, but let's go ahead and actually use this. So I also do have a case on my iPhone 15 Pro, which is from Banks. I'll go ahead and try it with the case first, and then we'll actually go ahead and take the case off and try it without the case. This is to actually test out the magnets. So if we do go ahead and plop it on real quick, it does fit nice and perfectly, and we do get charging, which is super cool. So it does actually go a little further down than the actual phone. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it does protrude out just a tad bit, but very minimal and you do barely notice it. The feeling is really nice. You can definitely feel that there's something on the back of this phone. However, it doesn't bulk or it doesn't bulge out too much that you feel it too much and it gets annoying. For 10,000 milliamp hours of extra battery, especially on long trips, this will definitely be worth it. Taking a look at the bottom once again, we do have the USB-C charging port of the actual device and of the phone right here. Let's go ahead and actually do a quick little shake test to see how well this actually stays on. So in three, two, one. All right, so those magnets are really strong and they do stay on. Did slide just a small bit. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the right side right here, it slid just a tad bit to the right. But again, with all that force, this barely moved at all. So again, very nice and neat. I wish they actually included a stand with this. It would have been nice. I have been seeing MagSafe power banks with stands that have been implemented inside of it. So you could actually stand it up while charging. However, this one doesn't have it. This is more like a on the go type of power bank. So you could use this while you're traveling and you are running out of juice. Another neat feature about this power bank is you can actually connect it with a USB-C to C cable. This honestly will provide faster charging unlike the wireless charging and you will get more charge percentage to the milliamp hours you're actually using as wireless charging does use a little more power. And so to do that, all you have to do is just connect your cable down here and then you can go ahead and connect it to your device. And this, you probably won't be using this for your iPhone. However, if you do have other devices without MagSafe, this will be the better option if you still do wanna pick this power bank up. But again, what I'd recommend is just go ahead and use the MagSafe as that is gonna be the better option. You're not gonna to have to deal with the cable. It might be a little slower, but you're still gonna get that juice to charge up your phone. All right, so now let's go ahead and plop it on with the case off. And once again, does fit perfectly. 
very nice charging right here. You do get the animation with the ring, which a lot of other companies have started doing. But again, it's nice to see that they have also implemented that. And then if we do go out and do a shake test, once again, very strong magnets and it does stay on perfectly. So overall, it's a really nice and unique power bank, especially with the Kevlar that we have on here. It looks really nice and it feels really good. And once again, it does make it a unique power bank, unlike the previous generation, which is just all white. Some people might prefer this. It does have a simplistic look and it does look like the original MagSafe power bank by Apple. But again, this is the one I would actually prefer. I feel like the shape is a little better, feels a little better, and you obviously do get 10,000 milliamp hours instead of 5,000, and you do get that nice cool design. So overall, a really nice power bank. As always, if you do wanna check this product out, there will be a link in the description. And again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see y'all in the next one.